Hi everyone! Well today I'm going to show you how to clone a tomato plant simply by taking a cutting from an existing plant. It's going to grow roots like this and then once you place it in soil it's going to grow like this and you're going to have a transplant to put into your garden. Now growing or cloning tomato plants has a couple of huge advantages. When you start a tomato plant from seed, it takes about four to six weeks to grow a transplant that you can put into your garden. But just by taking a cutting from an existing plant, you're going to have a transplant just like this to place into your garden within about three or four weeks, which is a huge advantage, especially if you're getting started late in the growing season and don't have time to grow tomato plants from seed. Now the other huge advantage is maybe you have a neighbor that has a tomato plant that you absolutely love the tomatoes on, it's a great producer, maybe it's disease resistant, has some characteristics that you absolutely love, you can take a cutting from that plant and then grow a plant with similar characteristics in your own garden. So it's so, so easy to do you guys, it only takes a couple of minutes. So let me show you the really quick and simple steps. And when you're cloning tomato plants and growing cuttings, all you need is a couple of things, just a jar full of water and an existing plant. So today I'm gonna to be taking a cutting from this Golden Jubilee All-America Selections Winter Tomato and from the Mar Globe Tomato. Both are in my tomato seed collection. Both really great producers. The Golden Jubilee has a really nice yellow color and a delicious sweet flavor. The Mar, Mar Globe is a little bit more acidic, but still a delicious tomato. More of a medium sized tomato, really good for canning absolutely love it. So let's get our scissors and get started. So I'm just going to cut off one of the bottom stems from this Golden Jubilee tomato and you notice I do have two different tomato plants in this container and I am going to be transplanting these out as well, separating them and transplanting them out in the garden as well. So I've got my Golden Jubilee cutting and now I'm going to get my Mar Globe cutting. Now you can see this plant is a little bit larger. It does have some suckers which are the plants or the little stems that grow out um, in the armpit of the tomato plant. So you can either take a cutting um, from the sucker or you can see this plant also really needs to be trimmed at the bottom of the plant for more airflow, which I really do like to do to all my tomato plants. So I'm going to take a cutting from the bottom as well. Now you do want to take a cutting of a stem that is a really healthy stem. For example, this stem on the bottom is a little bit yellowed, so I'm not going to use that one. So let's take another cutting here. This looks like a nice healthy stem. Just clip it off. And there you go. Now when you're taking your cuttings, you can either take them from a smaller plant, like with this Golden Jubilee, or one that's a little bit larger, like the Mar Globe, or an even larger one that's already producing tomatoes, like maybe from your neighbor's backyard. Keep in mind though, when you take a larger cutting, you have an advantage. You're going to have a larger transplant to put into the garden in just a couple of weeks, and then of course you're going to have harvest sooner, so just keep that in mind. Now the next step, there's really not much to it, um, you want to take a look at your uh, cuttings, and if there's any branches at the bottom, like there are with this one here. You want to keep the bottom few inches clear from branches so I'm going to pinch this off and the reason for that is the bottom couple inches are going to be in water so that way you don't want the little extra branches there to rot in the water. So I'm just going to place my Mar Globe cuttings in this little pint size canning jar. My Golden Jubilee cuttings are kind of starting to wilt a little bit. It's pretty hot out today, but they'll perk right up. I'm putting these in these cute little honey jars. I think these are absolutely adorable. I actually got these uh, for a Christmas gift from my son, and they're going to look really pretty. Um, yeah, you can see the roots here through the jar, so that's one reason why I really do love to use jars. But you can pretty much use anything that holds water. Well, now what you want to do is place your jars with your future tomato clones out of direct sunlight. If your cuttings were taken from a plant already growing outside, you can just put them in a shady spot in your garden, or you can take them inside, put them on your kitchen windowsill, which is what you definitely want to do if your cuttings were taken from an indoor plant. So you're going to change the water out every couple of days, and within just a few days, your cuttings will start to grow roots. And at this point, I like to add a few drops of the Vermisteria worm tea and a few drops of the Good Dirt plant food to the water, just so the plant has the nutrients it needs to keep on growing those nice roots. And after a few weeks, your roots will look like this and ready to transplant into soil. So to plant my tomato cutting, I'm using a Smart Pots transplanter, which is super handy 
because it has a little slit in the side here. So that way when you go to transplant it into the garden, you just peel apart the sides and you can easily pull the plant out and put it in your garden. So you can pick these up at smartpots.com and use my code Cali Kim so you get a 10% discount. But you can also use the little nursery pots um, or any other little container that you have. So what I'm gonna do is just dig a little hole in the middle here. You want it big enough to get your roots down in there. Now tomato plant is really unique because wherever the stem touches the soil, it's going to grow roots. That's one reason why it's so easy to take cuttings and root the cuttings. So I'm gonna pull one of these cuttings out of the jar. I just can't get over how fantastic these roots are. And I'm just gonna stick it down here in the soil. I'm gonna get it down as deep in the pot as I can. That will make for a nice, sturdier plant. And then I'm just going to put the soil around the stem there. And I think I need to add a little bit more soil to this container because you can see how there's some roots sticking out. And cover the stem as much as you can here. These roots are just going to keep continue to grow. It's going to take a couple of days probably for this to get established in this container. And then probably within a week or so, you can get this planted out in the garden. It's going to press down the top of the soil. And then I do want to water it thoroughly and give it, give it some nutrients. So I'm going to put a little squirt of the Good Dirt plant food into my watering can. Some of the Vermistera worm tea. Now I love these two fertilizers, they're both organic. The worm tea adds the beneficial bacteria and microbes and really helps your plant be healthy. And the good dirt plant food is higher in nitrogen, so it's really gonna help bring about the leafy growth that we want in our brand new little tomato cutting. So we're just gonna water it in until the water drains out the bottom of the plant. Now, if your new little transplant was grown from a cutting that was still inside, you definitely want to harden this off before you place it outdoors. So I'm going to place this back inside on my windowsill, let it get established, and then gradually start hardening off. It'll be ready to transplant out in the garden in just a couple of weeks. So this plant here actually was planted a few weeks ago. It's ready to go out in the garden. It was grown from a cutting. It's a cloned mar globe. Planted here in this little transplanter on March the 29th, about three weeks ago. What I'm going to do though, before I transplant it out, is add some more soil to the base of this plant here. Because it still has some room in the transplanter to add soil, and wherever that stem touches the soil, it's going to grow roots, so it will be a nice sturdy plant. So we're just going to fill this up, and we'll plant it outside in a few weeks. Well, there you have it. Isn't cloning tomato plants easy? A great way to get free plants for your garden and also to have tomatoes at different stages of growth to spread your harvest out. Well, comment below. Let me know if you tried cloning tomato plants and what kind of success you've had. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.